Well, welcome back. In the first video, we showed you some deep muscle work, which we call NEMO, to break up lactic acid and get rid of muscle spasms. In the second video, we showed you some work called the Bowen Technique, which is very light muscle work that looks too simple to accomplish much, but it's actually quite effective. In the last video, we showed you a little work on the skull, where I'm working on the skull to get a little movement in the skull plates. On this fourth video, it's going to look real simple. It's going to look like I'm not doing much of anything. And this is what we call a cranial lift or cranial lift and shift. I'll explain what I'm doing. First of all, I'm putting my fingers well, under the head and I'm going to check for movement of the head left and right. And this patient has some pretty good movement in the neck and it moves a little easier to the left than to the right. And what I'm doing with my hands is I'm going to get under the head and I'm going to lift the head. You're going to see me lift the, the head and then I'm going to shift and I'm exaggerating right now but I'm going to lift the head and I'm going to shift the head into the side where it wants to move. And the goal, the reason why I'm doing this is to take pressure off of the brain stem to increase blood flow into the brain. So I'm going to do this move. I'm going to put my stool over here for a moment and I'm going to get my hands under the patient's head and I'm going to lift and shift and then I'm going to take my fingers, and you can't really see it, but I'm applying pressure from the midline out towards the ears with my fingers while I'm holding the head slightly up and slightly to the side that it wanted to go to. And again, the whole purpose for this is to release pressure on the arteries going into the brain so that we can get better blood flow in and out of the brain. So while I'm just sitting here and holding the patient's head, anybody watching is going to think, well, he's, he's really not doing anything. But again, I did a lift, a shift, and a spread. And I'm holding my fingers here for just a little bit so that we can get better blood flow in and out of the brain. And that's really it for the cranial lift, shift, and spread. Thank you.